in the bustling kingdom of Dummersville, nestled between rolling hills and ancient forests, lived Giovanni, a blacksmith whose skill was matched only by his passion for the art of forging weapons and armor. Giovanni was born to a humble family. His father was a carpenter, and his mother tended to the household, instilling in him values of hard work and dedication. From a young age, Giovanni admired the knights who rode through the village, their armor glinting in the sunlight, their swords sharp and true. He longed to join their ranks, but despite his strength and knowledge of weaponry, he could not quite master the ways of a true knight. Undeterred, Giovanni turned his gaze to the forge. With an insatiable curiosity and a fierce determination, he apprenticed under the village blacksmith. The rhythmic sound of hammer striking metal became his symphony, the heat of the forge his sanctuary. Giovanni found solace in shaping steel, transforming raw materials into formidable weapons. His passion quickly turned into a livelihood, as he opened his own forge, where knights would come seeking his expertise. As whispers of war echoed through the kingdom of Dummersville, Giovanni found himself summoned to the Grand Castle by none other than the king himself. The air was thick with tension, the looming threat of Azrael, the Dark Mage, and his horde of trolls and minions, darkening the hearts of the villagers. The king, with a grave demeanor, tasked Giovanni with an urgent mission to forge and enhance weapons for the knights preparing to confront this formidable enemy. Understanding the weight of the king's request, Giovanni delved into the ancient tomes of blacksmithing lore he had collected over the years. Among the dusty pages, he discovered secrets of ancient magic and arcane craft passed down through generations of master blacksmiths. This knowledge would enable him to infuse his creations with extraordinary power, strengthening the swords and armor of the knights who would soon face the dark forces in the dungeon and the dark tower. With a renewed sense of purpose, Giovanni set to work in his forge. He hammered away at the glowing metal, each strike a combination of precision and passion. As he worked, he whispered incantations he had memorized, calling upon the spirits of past artisans to imbue his creations with protective charms and enhanced strength. The swords gleamed brighter, their edges sharper than ever, while the armor he crafted became a true shield against the darkness. The knights arrived one by one, each eager to witness the fruits of Giovanni's labor. He explained the enhancements he had made, swords now glowed with a faint blue light, a sign of the magic woven into the steel, capable of cutting through the enchanted defenses of Azrael's minions. The armor bore intricate designs, not only fortifying the knights, but also providing them with agility and resilience in battle. As the days passed, Giovanni worked tirelessly, fueled by the urgency of the impending conflict. He created not only weapons, but also enchanted shields that would deflect dark magic and special gauntlets that amplified the strength of their wearers. Each item was a testament to his dedication and skill, a blend of craftsmanship and ancient magic that would give the knights a fighting chance. Giovanni charged gold for upgrades to swords and armor, his reputation for excellence spreading far and wide. He understood the knights' need for speed. They were warriors at heart, always eager to return to battle. To meet their demands, he offered a faster service upgrades for diamonds. With this clever business model, the knights could bypass the waiting line, knowing they would emerge better equipped for their next encounter. But Giovanni's generosity didn't stop there. In exchange for their precious diamonds, he sometimes gifted knights rare blueprints. Upgrading armor early could yield plans for crafting silver bars, vital for any knight looking to bolster their armory. If they chose to enhance their swords, he might reward them with a secret recipe for roasted boar meat a dish famed throughout the kingdom for its rich flavor. When knights upgraded their quarters for housing serfs, he would offer blueprints for crafting thorium spears, enhancing their power on the battlefield. Giovanni was not just a craftsman, he was a man of innovation. He often experimented with new designs for swords and armor, testing them in the arena against the knights. 
He reveled in the thrill of the fight, proving the worth of his creations. His forge became a hub of activity, a place where the clashing of metal was accompanied by the laughter and camaraderie of knights eager to share tales of their exploits. Though Giovanni is a noble and faithful citizen of the king, rumors swirled through the kingdom about Giovanni's affections for Bridget, a skilled arrow maker who trained under the watchful eyes of the knights. Their mutual respect for their crafts blossomed into a friendship that many speculated might be more. Their laughter could often be heard echoing through the market, their shared passion for weaponry forming a bond that enchanted those around them. In the kingdom of Dummersville, Giovanni was not just a blacksmith. He was a vital thread in the fabric of knightly life, a man who, despite not becoming a knight himself, forged a legacy that strengthened the very swords and armor that protected the realm. When the day of the battle arrived, the knights donned their newly forged armor and wielded the enchanted swords with pride. Giovanni stood among them, feeling a swell of pride as he watched them prepare to face the Dark Mage and his trolls. He knew that his creations would not only protect the knights, but would also carry the hopes of the entire kingdom into battle. As they marched towards the Dark Tower, Giovanni whispered a silent prayer for their safety, knowing that the strength of his craft and the ancient magic he had channeled would play a crucial role in this fight against darkness. The clang of metal and the shouts of the knights resonated in the air, a rallying cry against the encroaching shadow of Azrael, and Giovanni knew that he had forged not just weapons, but a beacon of hope for Dummersville. 